flying solo through the sky with nothing but a personal jetpack. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but one company came close to making that dream real. Meet the Martin Jetpack, a bold attempt at personal flight from New Zealand. In this video, we'll break down what it was, how it worked, and why it mattered, in the simplest way possible. The Martin Jetpack was built by the Martin Aircraft Company. Despite its name, it wasn't powered by a jet engine. Instead, it used a gasoline engine connected to two big ducted fans. These fans blew air down at high speed which lifted the jetpack and the pilot into the air. It wasn't something you could wear on your back like a backpack. It was larger, with a frame the pilot would sit inside. Think of it as a compact flying machine built just for one person. The heart of the jetpack was a V4 piston engine that delivered 200 horsepower. That's a lot of power for a small flying vehicle. The controls were made to be simple. One hand controlled direction, pitch, roll, and yaw, and the other hand managed height. Because of its design, it didn't spin or twist while flying, so there was no need for a tail rotor like in helicopters. It could take off and land vertically, a feature known as VTOL, meaning it didn't need a runway. Its max speed was around 74 kilometers per hour, with a flight time of about 30 minutes and a range of up to 20 kilometers. That's just enough to make it practical for short missions. Safety was a major focus for the team. The Martin Jetpack had a carbon fiber frame, which made it both strong and lightweight. It was also fitted with a ballistic parachute that could deploy quickly in emergencies, even at low altitudes. These features were essential to make the idea of flying this machine more secure. And you know, it was meant to be realistic for everyday use. Martin Aircraft had big dreams. They believed the jetpack could help first responders, allowing them to reach places that vehicles or helicopters just couldn't. It also had potential in the military, for commercial work like inspections and even for personal recreation, giving people a chance to fly for fun. It wasn't just a cool gadget. It was designed with real-world use in mind. Even though the Martin Jetpack never reached full commercial production, it left a lasting mark. It showed what was possible with creativity and engineering. It really pushed the boundaries of urban air mobility and personal flight. While newer technologies have taken the spotlight, the Martin Jetpack stands as a bold step toward turning science fiction into reality. If you enjoyed learning about this flying machine, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let us know in the comments. Would you ride a personal jetpack? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.